Uh, yes, our next speaker will be Beth Thompson. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Sorry about that. I was having some technical difficulty. <laughs> Um, I'm a counselor at Sunny Hills High School, and I've spoken to many families and students that are asking for an option to return to campus, even more days if that's a possibility. Um, I understand we have to be mindful of the health factors uh, society is aware of. However, I need to be a voice for many of the students of our district that are extremely struggling with their academic performance and mental health. We have conditioned our students to learn by going to school campus, sitting at a desk, listening and watching in person, uh, their teacher using their hands and physical space to learn. And now we just expect them to completely shift and learn in a different way. In addition, teachers have had to completely shift their teaching style, many of whom have taught over 20 years and also learned themselves in a physical learning environment. Many students have difficulty sitting in front of a computer all day learning and then after school to do all their assignments. This past semester, there have been many students with over 150 missing assignments. Reasons for that being technical issues, learning styles, lack of motivation, and overall apathetic mindset to life due to the state of our nation. Adolescents need to be with each other. We know this from our child development classes. I know we have to be cautious. I want to bring awareness to the data collected and shared in previous meetings and tonight, showing how safe it is for our students to return to campus, all the while implementing the precautions necessary. Our students' mental health relies on us at least looking at alternative options to allow for them to be on campus to learn, like we have conditioned them to do all these years. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.